Thank you, uh, House Chairperson. We're here to stand with Palestine. We're here to take sides in favor of the oppressed. Condemn Israel and declare that it is a murderous apartheid regime engaged in systematic extermination of Palestinians. It is not a single event. They are engaged in a system permanently subjecting Palestinians to racial humiliation. We do this because we understand that our freedom here was attained through massive international solidarity by peoples of the world, 90% of which had never set foot here. It is in this context that we are responding to the suffering of a people who live thousands of kilometers from South Africa. We know that we are international citizens. As we stand here, Israel has massacred over 10,000 Palestinians in Gaza under their military assault, killing children, bombing churches, hospitals, schools. Many have been painting Palestinians who are responding over half a century to Israeli systematic oppression as terrorists. Now, the label of terrorists, we know it very well, because it is a label that was put to Mandela. It is a label that was given to Subukwe. It is a label that was given to the, to the liberation movement. The Israeli state was formed in 48 with the full support of Western powers through forced removals and ethnic cleansing of Palestinians. Fact. It was inaugurated as a Jewish-only state where Palestinians who have the right to the land are not returned or are not allowed to return. Yet any Jewish person who has not born there, who has never been there, can go and attain citizenship with immediate effect. They control movements of people through thousands of military checkpoints. In fact, they have built a wall and a fence around Gaza controlling entry and exit of people and goods. There are separate roads for Palestinians and Jewish people around many Jewish settlements in Palestine. Palestinians do not enjoy freedom to demonstrate against their oppressor. They are told demonstrations, they, are, they get arrested, they even get killed. Thousands of Palestinians are arrested without trial, even charged in Israeli military courts. The world knows this. And when Palestinians respond, they are called terrorists. The Israeli state is fundamentally a racist state. Nobody must be allowed to coexist with a fundamentally racist state. We can't, we can't be asked in the interest of the values of our constitution to recognize a racist state whose establishment is for a Jewish only people at the expense of Palestinians. Why would you do that? Those are the facts. This is not a religious war, Murud. It's an evil war. It's not a holy war. There is no people who have a God's right to be superior to anyone. The Israelis don't represent the Jewish communities of the world. They represent Zionism and racism. It must be said here, whoever supports them supports racism. So what is South Africa doing in a relationship with a racist regime? If they are engaged in a genocidal exercise, Minister Naledi Pando, why are you recalling people for consultation? Because you've already declared that there is a genocide. Why are we friends with people who are violating the values of our constitution? Why are we friends with people who are massacring children in hospitals, in schools? What must happen? What must be said before the whole world isolates Israel? Israelis, Palestinians for the longest time never asked you for a single bullet, which they should because they've got the right to fight even with military arms against the racist regime. They've asked you for a simple thing. Isolate Israel the way the world isolated apartheid. When are you doing that? Let's sever ties because a relationship with Israel as South African offends our constitutional values. It offends any rational thinking about coexistence. It offends peace. We should recall the ambassadors, everybody. We should fire the ambassador of Israel. We can't be friends with Israel until they establish a society 
in compliance with international law on one hand, and they recognize the right of Palestinians to coexist. I wish, I wish for once in our lives, we can be on the right side of history. Honorable Let's sever all ties with the race. Thank you very much. Thank you. The good doctor.